clap sync. What year is it? It's for you or for your editor. I'm about to say, it's not for me. I don't give a shit. <laughs> not my problem. See this guy on the screen, how he's pointing off to the side? That's me pointing off to my editor over there. Or maybe over there. Actually, if I point directly at the camera, I guess is where he would be because they're going to be staring. I don't know. I just... Hello everybody that is watching this video. It is I, the panda that is large and big. And this is my friend Scotty, aka 407. So we're gonna watch some more Undercover Boss. If you didn't see the last one, it's gonna be up in one of these corners. I'm just gonna point to both of them because I always get it backwards. You can go watch it there or not. I don't really care at this point. You can watch this one instead. There you go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, look, Scott. Look how long this video is. I was just about to say that. Wait, 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 wait. We Aren't have to tell them about Panda here? Punch. Oh, that's right. It's what? out now. It's been out. And it's almost out of stock. So what the heck are you waiting for? It's in a tub now. Here, Get we'll show you. And there's a hydration formula, but it's almost sold out. So click the link and buy some now. <laughs> Get it before it's gone or you're going to regret it because it's never coming back until it comes back. <laughs> Can you point me the way? Right around that corner. Okay. Is she so checking out the cake down. on the way to the bathroom? Yeah. Oh no, she she walked away. She was like, oh, I can't stand the look of that ass anymore. Oh. So do you think he's that cute? Music. I think he's cute. So. Immediately? <laughs> <laughs> she is Tommy smitten as a kitten, things. my boy. Look at that face. <laughs> She's thinking about all that sweet, delicious. What is this company called again? Something blinds? Budget blinds. Oh, budget blinds. She's thinking about that budget booty. That makes it sound like it's a, not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, right. I think in hindsight, I'm like, oh man, maybe not. But you know, like, no, I can't justify that one. I'm just going to no. keep going. Skinny body and the tight legs. Cute guy. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> that that was graphic. Legs. You can be at this side and I'll be at this side. All right. She's like, I'd rather yeah. you be on hey, this side. Oh, flag, I like mounts him. Oh, he's not very good at his... Oh my god. <laughs> you think... Sorry, I, the only reason why for the comments go off that I'm pausing it too much, I'm sorry. Copyright issues. I'm trying to give you guys quality content here. Also, it's very loud. I need to be able to hear Scott. You think that like the producers tell them to intentionally start messing up this stuff? Or do you think these guys... Because you've worked corporate jobs just like I have before. Do you think these guys are so out of touch? They actually don't know what they're doing. I'm always curious with this show because nothing else on this show is real. <laughs> I mean, they definitely don't want to look like they know exactly what they're doing. Right. That's what, uh, that's what threw off the Kid at Yankee, the, the little serial killer kid that wanted to punch <laughs> eight year olds. Remember that? Yes. Like his boss was way too good at dipping people's hands in wax. And he was like, oh, you're throwing off my serial killer senses. Like this guy, maybe if he was too good at putting on blinds, that woman would be so fucking turned on by that point that she would just jump his bones. She'd be like, oh my God, he's a rock star with tight legs and the thin body and he can Ooh. fucking hang up some blinds. Hold me back. <laughs> I mean, I get it. He's yeah, look at him. Whoops. Looks like a hot uncle that listens oh, to death it. metal yeah little does she know he's probably he's got awkward. lots of money he's the ceo if he doesn't have lots of money then who does in the company <laughs> yeah but they are budget blind so <laughs> how much money are they making maybe because they're budget they're allowed or not allowed like there's a law they're able to sell more of them you know it's like if you have a diet candy bar you can eat three more of them <laughs> diet candy bar Oh, yeah, you know, because those exist. <laughs> okay. I wonder why they hang them up like that. I don't know. Is it just to make sure that they're like all... Is this, like, is this their QR? Or QR? Well, they, gotta, they gotta string them together, so they gotta make sure they're the correct distance apart. Oh, that's... Okay, yeah, yeah, fair, fair. I'm over here thinking, it's like, is this quality control? Or are they just making sure they're straight? They're not even blinds yet, Anthony. You fucking idiot. <laughs> it just panels. <laughs> It's like I forgot what this company was about. Doing that is he even in a disguise? Like he, he just doesn't wear glasses. Yeah, that's just everything. It's like a superhero costume. Like, how do people really not know that Clark Kent is Superman? Like, are you guys really that oblivious? Don't you guys work for newspaper? Aren't you guys supposed to be journalists? Like, catch on to this kind of shit? I don't know. That's that's a tangent for another time. Look, she doesn't yeah. believe it either. She was like, I don't know who this guy is, but I want to suck that blind. <laughs> there you go. High five. High five, girl. You did good. Oh, careful, oh, God. There. Oh, God. Sexual oh, harassment. Oh, Tom made me go flush. <laughs> I thought he was very attractive. Did she over there looking her lips like the Tom Joker? Close. I thought he was oh. very attractive. I think I'm going to invite Tom 
cooking in my hot tub tonight after work. Oh, no. That's how you make babies right there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. It's just a cesspool of semen right there. He has to give her a raise. I mean, she's trying to give him a raise, if you know what I'm saying, but... Hey, yo. Oh, okay. I'm so... I'm so sorry. Look at her over there. Damn, oh, woman, <laughs> chill out. out. She's like it's thirsty no YouTube or, uh, Instagram messages in, in person. We don't have a lot of men in here, have you noticed? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you're the first man I've seen in 22 years. She is down bad. Yeah, they locked her in there. That's why it's budget. <laughs> she's like a caged animal in there. <laughs> the first dick she sees, she's going to ride that thing clean off. <laughs> she's rabid. <laughs> feral. She's fucking feral, bro. <laughs> She's like, give it to me. <laughs> she's great. I love how she's just right, open about it, you know? She's just confident. No, she's confident in herself. I love that. I for 26 years. Dude, I was so close. Jesus. I was so close. What did I say? Like 21 years, 22 years. That's how long she's been locked in there and hasn't seen the last, the last three men that came into the company, their bodies showed up mysteriously crumpled to pieces at the bottom of the warehouse floor. Nobody knows why, but the penises were all removed. You're a trooper. How you like it? Oh, oh that no question. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's pissed. Immediately like pissed. He's like, I pay you eight an hour! Here. And we don't have picnics. Like, we used to have a picnic, and they don't do that anymore. The sideburns are definitely... That's part of the disguise right there. It's gotta be, right? Those look like they're sprayed on. Or he this... grew them over the past few days. Yeah. I like the leather strap watch that makes him look like he, like... He's in a rock band, but it's one that plays at a dive bar every Friday. Dueling pianos. That would be sick, actually. I would love to see that in person. Wow. I felt a little sad today talking to Pam about what's going on. Just hit she up her hot so tub, bro. You'll feel better. <laughs> She'll forget all about the money you so don't pay her. <laughs> Wait, she's got a hot tub in this warehouse? Wait, hold on. Not only that, did you hear what else she just said? She has a husband. What? <laughs> forget the hot tub. She has a husband. My husband and I go to Mexico. What do you like to do when you drink? Get there? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I love her, dude. She's amazing. That's too dark. See, can you see that? Mm -hmm. She's like, do you see Here's that? Here's your quality control. You fucking stupid motherfucker. Do you see what you just did? She no longer wants to ride him. She's just like, wow, you, you gotta go. Well, wow, that's not even close, dude. Maybe it's the lighting, but it appears to be three shades too dark. It's so hard to tell. This is this amazing YouTube quality stuff right here. These are budget blinds, Debbie. She <laughs> fucking chill. Our color yeah, if we have to remake them, that's more money we have to pay. All right. That made me really happy to see the vested interest in the quality control today. <laughs> he yeah, even though you're barely purpose. paying her. He probably fucked him up on purpose. He was like, oh, while she's over here fucking touching herself to my ass, I'm going to fuck up these colors real quick and see if she even notices. Well, she did. Yeah. And you only pay her $8 an hour to fix them. I don't know if that's true. He might pay her $9 an hour. God, that watch is so bad. Do you see that thing? <laughs> You remember what fossil watches looked back? Looked like oh, back yeah. in like 2007. Oh, yeah. That's one of them right there. Has he got a chain on his wallet too? On his wallet? Oh, did I? At first, I thought you said his mullet. Let's see. Is that his wallet? I think he does. Damn, he's a rock star. He is. But I really got a sense that the morale needs to get boosted again. So I've got to get that fixed. Bring back the picnic! Would have been good if it just cut to her, <laughs> cut to him just clapping her cheeks. <laughs> in the hot tub just kind of bent over the edge of the hot tub the husband just sitting in the corner crying <laughs> so that's this isn't a follow-up to her but this is a different uh clip from the same guy so it is the oh, same company um okay. i don't know that dabble has the clip or like the follow-up um if it is i might have looked right past it because it looked all sentimental and sappy and i would feel bad about making fun of those particular moments they're like here's fifty thousand dollars towards your kids college tuition i don't it's not really much for me to make fun of there that's actually pretty fucking cool he just gives them their picnic and that's it yeah he's just, just like out. we want to thank you guys for working so hard so we're throwing a pizza party next week and three of you are fired all right thank <laughs> you guys so much for watching like, <laughs> to pay for it <laughs> right <laughs> we had to let three of you go unfortunately the woman that was hitting on me you gotta go tell your husband the mexican trip is canceled chad who's the ceo chad. of the company he kind of took us around told us what we were getting oh into he's getting right thing. into it keith has no idea who i am i love yes him. he fucking five, does actually clearly. i promise you he knows who you are if he knows your name he knows what you look like and he knows that walmart nickelback sitting next to him <laughs>
is definitely his CEO, but let's pretend like he doesn't. And so there's two brothers, two twin brothers, no, uh, very fine. different personalities, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah, how do you know Brent's kind of just go with the flow type thing. More more laid back. Chad is, I think, more serious. Um, more set in his ways. Just leans over and starts choking him. Y'all show how <laughs> fucking serious I am! Obviously, they had to cut that part out and redo the scene because when yeah. Dabble filled out the monetization things, they had to file it under violence. We're just we're just, just more kills him in that fucking van, dude. It's a panel van. It's perfect. I just drives around with his body. No one will know. So just hangs him up on the... <laughs> Dude, he's got the biggest smile on his face. He's like the budget blind killer. He just like kills his victims and hangs them up on walls like blinds. <laughs> he just turns them into blinds. <laughs> yes. uh, this guy's going to be his first victim. He already provided him with the van and everything. Look, that field back there. Where are the body's at? Hello. Keith from Bunch of Blinds. Hey, nice to meet you. How did that camera get inside already? That's insane. So we're this room and in here. Okay. Yeah. The wife so was just vlogging their camera, little their little uh, blind here. install. Right. You guys they have a family channel. Not necessarily a product in mind, but um. We just want some fucking blinds. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what do you mean? What kind of product? What do you do? You want lifty blinds? Do you want panel vines? Vines? I can't even say it anymore. Blinds. You want to be able to control light? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> do you wish it was lighter? I actually wish darker? to be an airbender. Can you help me with that? Really? Flat bender. Uh, would you see yourself as? Being I don't think a the husband should be there. They're they're pretty this? useless most of the time. When it comes to this stuff, oh yeah, they're like. How much longer do we have? There's a game on. And if we're thinking the white shutters over there, we're actually going to get light from back there. What I there. would do is when you guys want to do that, I would actually bring back our dreamers. Jesus shot. Christ. This would be a little bit bold. I mean, it Bro, is they're cutting out so much it's, it's and I'm out. getting lost. <laughs> right? There are so many colors out there. Did it say what time it was when they showed up? It was like 11.04 or something. Did, oh, oh my God. Wait, hold on. Did it really? Keith from Bunch of Blinds. 11.50. So like noon. So this man is almost three hours into his fucking blinds presentation. Way Jesus too Christ. long. So if we go... <laughs> Oh, yeah, I would have been like, leave the fucking book and just get the yeah, fuck man. out of my house. <laughs> like, can I, this can I borrow this? Way. Are we thinking this is the winner then for in here? All of that, and I they chose so. a fucking okay. so an off-white beige. To looks like toilet paper. Uh, originally, we were talking about those windows. Did I miss some? We were uh, we were a little crunched on time. Oh, got so, it. You know, instead of rushing into something, we want to make sure that it's actually perfect. <laughs> Wait, they spent three hours on one room? Look at her. She was like, "Excuse me, did you say you don't want to rush into something?" Uh, we just spent our whole fucking afternoon looking for. Two blinds. Our order is $97. She's dead inside. She's exhausted. Okay. <laughs> that might be my thumbnail. That might be oh, a thumbnail so right there. What was he asking about? Was it the blinds? Yeah, because they only did one room. I think the room that they did is the one that's got less window coverings. Because the one, the room that they showed you, you remember, it's like a like a, a dining nook. It had like seven of them. Oh, got it. I'm sure they exaggerated it a little bit for the sure show, but exactly Jesus. Perfect. Keith's owned this business for 10 years. He should know by now how oh, to God. walk in and design oh, shit. a room. You were talking just earlier about... Yeah, let me just park this white van in a park. That seems like a good idea. That won't alarm any parents. <laughs> <laughs> What a genius idea he just had. At least he's busy. He's going to be busy murdering Brad and not the children. Right, right. Just over here. Yeah, just sitting in a white van with a man dressed up in a costume drinking coffee. Nothing to be alarmed. Oh, those cameras over there. Oh, yeah. They're filming this van right now. <laughs> right. It's not like it's just like a van sitting there. It's people filming a van sitting there. We're like, oh, my God, they're, they're filming their abductions. <laughs> For the most part, corporate's great. Yeah. But there are some things that they are very set in their ways about chad our ceo uh, i think his background i think is marketing if i if i remember right so that's kind of his baby if i or someone else has gone up to him and been like man that thing really doesn't work pretty rigid guy uh he he doesn't take suggestions too well without getting overly defensive about him i don't think i'm defensive i think i actually know what i'm talking about and i've got incredible logic and rationale to support the decisions we make wow that was Quite a defensive answer there, buddy. Yeah, he's clearly irritated. Yeah, he's about to beat this man in the face with a fucking box of blinds. <laughs> he's like, all right, somebody stop rolling the cameras. I'm actually the fucking CEO here. I'm going to kill this motherfucker if he doesn't stop. Look at him. He's just happy because he knows it's the CEO. And then at the end of he's going to be like, oh, by the way, I know it's you. He's just trolling him. Yeah, and then just whips his sack out and smears it across the dashboard and leaves him there in the running van. Bro, that's two employees that are uh, hitting on him. <laughs> Or are you saying Brad whips his sack out? Somebody's whipping their sack out here in the next 20 seconds or this video ain't worth our time. She <laughs> Might be me. I don't like excuses. Wait, Keith can this baby jaguar get down from this tree? What does that have to do with Undercover Boss? Yeah, this one, this one has a follow-up. How this works is uh, most of the time, 
uh, I'm getting the dead animals. Okay. Oh, we're just What's getting right into this one, dead? apparently. Yeah. So you just do dead animals dead or nothing animals. else? That's it. Dead. All right, let's talk about wording. <laughs> How it's important in a sentence and conveying what you need to say. I think there's a better way of saying... Oh, so you're in charge of picking up dead animals? He just says this. So you just do dead animals or nothing animals. else? <laughs> I didn't even catch that. When you say that, it comes across as meaning uh, maybe something else. Maybe something a little less appropriate shit. Uh, or legal. This raccoon carcass finna make me act up. <laughs> oh shit, it's still uh. warm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right, all right, let's uh, okay. <laughs> I disgust myself. I was thinking, great assignment, dead animals right before lunch. Imagine how this guy feels. He does it every day, homie. He's probably immune at this point. Just it looks like a I fucking know, body, what dude. It, what it, it looked like a deer, maybe? Don't even think about how that stuff gets removed. How it gets removed? How the fuck did it get there? That's more what I'm concerned about. This is a residential neighborhood. Was that a deer in somebody's front yard? The thing must have got <laughs> smacked. Look at this man's face. He's gonna he's putting in his resignation tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> he might be thinking the same thing too. He's like, what the fuck is this deer doing over here? Yeah, that's <laughs> Steve just clipped it on his way in the house People the other day. Don't even think about how that stuff gets removed. Oh yeah, this is an old episode. Look at that cell phone. In the of the wow, what a job. They got a radio in the car. Look, that's a fucking police scanner. This, <laughs> this dude just drives around all day long and he just gets radioed. Uh, hey, Bob, there's a cat over on 4th. <laughs> fucking miserable, dude. What a terrible job. Mayor's already yes, left, ready, ready to be done with that's this shift. My, I see. Right in the middle of the street. Oh, right there. Yeah. Oh, that's flat. That's flat. <laughs> that shit flat. Of all the things you can say, dude, this motherfucker is hilarious. I mean, what else are you gonna say? Me personally, probably wouldn't have said anything. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, oh, there it is in the middle of the street. I would have been like, oh, word. <laughs> but you're right. There it is. That thing's flat as fuck. You gotta make this job exciting somehow. Well, his commentary is making my job exciting right now. I love this. This is hilarious. When it's flat like that, you gotta scrape Just grab him right up. Just grab that boy. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try to get through this without losing it. When it's flat like that, you gotta scrape Just grab him right up. Just grab him up. Just bro. grab that flat cat, boy. <laughs> Man, guts and everything. <laughs> this was a flat cat. There you go. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I didn't think this one was going to be good, but boy, was I fucking wrong. All right, <laughs> Holy there's shit. Just, there's oh just no god, way of dude. describing having to pick up a flat cat. <laughs> Stop saying it. He is so stuck on that thing being that flat. Like, I like cat. What did he say? I like cats, but I've never I seen it. I love kitties, but that's a flat cat. Did he say squished cat, kitty? Squished kitty. They look terrible. <laughs> <They're flat. laughs> Squish, Squish kitty. kitty. They're going to remix this into a song. Can we do like a quick song, editor? Can you throw down a beat? Like right now with like Squish Kitty and Flat Cat. When it's flat like that, you gotta scrape Just grab off. him right up. Squish Kitty. Flat Cat. Squish Kitty. Just grab him right up. Squish Kitty. Flat Cat. Squish Kitty. There you go. There's just no way of describing having to pick up a flat cat. What's the biggest thing you ever picked up? Make sure he ain't breathing that way you just grab him. He's a stiff one. <laughs> so we got flat squished kitties we got stiff ones which is the new hot wings show apparently stiff ones you just got to eat stiff roadkill and answer really bad questions you hungry I are you my hand. <laughs> not no I more bro you had your gloves on yeah. i can't do it oh man yeah i was getting hungry there for a while man i could i could eat a raccoon I'm lucky for you i got one right back there if you want it <laughs> i'm just waiting for like you know how they're like the little radio like buzzes and then they get a call. She's just like, uh, hey, John, over on 12th and Main, there's a, well, I'm just going to be honest with you. There's a human body, but the ambulance is a little busy. You mind picking that one up for us? <laughs> <laughs> They're already dead, so there's no rush to the hospital. <laughs> just bring it by whenever you can. What would you do? Would you do it? That was your job? At that point, it's probably just another body, right? I mean, yeah. Just desensitize to death. Life of a coroner. The possum in the middle of Broadway at court. We got a dead groundhog over on Martin Luther King. Can you go check and see if he sees a shadow? <laughs> just tell us if you see his, to be honest. <laughs> he's not going to be able to tell us at this point. He's a little, he's a stiff one. <laughs> I wonder how much this guy gets paid picking up roadkill. I can assure you that it's not enough. All right, so this is a completely different clip, but it's the same mare. Good morning. I'm looking for Anita. I need a man to hug and kiss. Come over here, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Her 
her face lit up like she knows me. Great, my name is Rick Wilson. Uh oh. Rick, okay. And she just went on. So Rick my I wasn't ass. sure. What <laughs> you look like our, our, our mayor. You, you're not. You know what? My wife says that. Well, just she like says it. that, but Real? I keep telling her I don't think I do, but she says that. <laughs> this cover didn't last very long, did he? I mean, so at this point, obviously, like, she knows who he is. It's pretty obvious, right? I wonder how, like, yeah. the show, like, the producers sort of convey that to them to be like, we get it. We know that you know. Can you. Like, just play along with us at this point. She probably immediately after that was just like, all right, y'all, what the fuck is going on here? Why are the cameras here? <laughs> I have uh, two boys and two girls. Right now, my oldest son, he's in a nursing home. He's in a nursing home? What? Yeah, he has cerebral palsy. He's oh, man, I can't make fun of this shit. We, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Right. He's confined to that chair. We all get Jesus. old, so we can't really lift him, you know. So how do you transport him? I didn't think I was going to be able to make fun of this clip, but... Oh, God. Let's take a step... A real, a real short step back. So how do you transport it? They just call the guy from the last clip with the dead animals and just have his, they just have him show with the pickup truck and they just throw him in the back. Let's take him to our destination. <laughs> oh no! All right, okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try to stop after that one. <laughs> when Arnita told me about her son, I figured I need to tell her who I am. I mean, it was a pretty emotional moment, so I figured I would let her know. She's known for the last four hours. <laughs> <laughs> She's asking you right now, give me a fucking wheelchair lift. <laughs> She's begging you. She knows exactly who you are. Earlier, you asked me why I look familiar to you. Yeah. Why have you asked me? <laughs> you look like our mayor. I am the mayor. Well, hello. Uh -huh. Oh shit! Oh, shit! What a transition! I thought he had the hair. I'm I'm surprised she noticed through that. Yeah, damn. Uh, maybe his cheekbones. I don't know. Those are very defined. You're on the front line, out there, and you're in a job that doesn't really make people excited to see you. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I just want you to know how much I appreciate the work that you do for the public. That was actually a really Thank good you. disguise. Yeah, I'm 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 surprised, undercover boss. Maybe yeah. sometimes you guys do hire a makeup artist. <laughs> I'm not sure what I was son. expecting the disguise yeah. to be. Yeah. Well, I have some friends that uh, want to help out and buy you a van that has a wheelchair ramp in it so that you and your husband can take your son out and not have to pick him up out of the wheelchair. And that van is donated by Budget Blinds. <laughs> <laughs> it's the van that they were driving in the episode. Ignore the blood smell. Somebody definitely wasn't killed in the back. Um, <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not going to watch the rest of this sentimental clip and start crying because I already feel bad about the joke I made earlier. Yeah. Well, not that bad, honestly, but you know, I'm, I'm feigning innocence here. So um, thank you for watching Undercover Boss with me, Scott. It's been fun. It's always, always a pleasure. It's been uh, an experience. Budget Blinds was pretty good, but I don't, I still, it's no Yankee Candle to me. I think we kind of peaked at the first one, but thank you guys for watching. If you've made it this far, if you haven't, then you're not seeing this so I can say whatever the hell I want. And that is that I'll see you in the next video and uh, peace and chicken grease. I'm out. Bye. Bye.